Hi, this is Deb Brown with Touch Your Client's Heart. Today I'd like to talk about goof-ups. We're all human, we all make mistakes, and we make mistakes in our businesses too. The key to recovering from a goof-up in your business is to do a few simple things. The first thing when you've made a mistake in your business is to listen to your client's complaint and acknowledge their feelings. If you jump right in and start defending yourself or arguing, it's just going to push the client away more. But if you acknowledge them and listen to them and show that you understand their feelings, then they feel heard and they're willing to hear your side of things. The next thing you can do is to explain things to them. Maybe it's just a simple misunderstanding and when they hear your side of things, they might not be as angry. The third thing to do is apologize. Even if you did nothing wrong, it's important to apologize. And you can simply say, I'm sorry that you're upset. I'm sorry your feelings have been hurt. I'm sorry you didn't like the way that happened, and that's honest. Because if you are a business owner that cares, you are sorry when a client is unhappy. So after you've apologized, then you need to find a way to make it right, if at all possible. Tell them you're sorry for the goof up, and then explain to them this is how I'm going to make it right for you. Is there something you can change? Is there something you can give to them? Do you need to redo a project for them? Whatever it is, find a way to make it right. And then the last thing to do is to show them how it's not going to happen in the future. Give them an example of the things you've put in place so that it won't happen again. Um, I want to share a personal experience about this whole process and how it can really save a client relationship. Um, I was working with someone on a month or a quarterly mailing, and the first time we sent out a mailing for this person, we sent a copy of the mailing to them so that they could see what their clients were receiving, and the return address I put was the person's home address and not their business address. As soon as they received it in the mail, they were upset. They contacted me and said, why did you use my home address and not my business address when my business address is clearly on all my information? So the first thing I did was explain to them what I did. I took the um, billing information that they had given me that came through on my email and took their billing address and used that as the return address. I should have checked it. I apologized for that. And obviously I couldn't change what I had done. I couldn't take back all the mail that went out with her home address on it. But I let her know that I had already changed it in my system to the business address so the next mailing that went out would be right. So there I listened to her concerns. I explained my side of it and why I made that mistake. I apologized. I showed her how I was going to fix it in the future. And then I went a little bit further and I sent her a cookie in the mail to also apologize. The more you can do to show your sincere apology and fix those goof ups, the more likely a client is to stick with you forgive you, and move on. In this case, I got to keep my client. If I had been defensive, they may have pulled their account from me. But simple things you can do to have good customer care will allow your clients to stay with you longer. If you want more information on how to wow your clients, go to our website at wowclientsnow.com.